How's it going, guys? Uh, I don't know how loud the AC is. It sounds loud as hell, man. But I'm gonna. I'm not gonna turn it off or I'll die in here. Hey, right, here's a rundown of what's been going on on the channel, guys. Um, I made a vlog today. I took the kids to the uh, dinosaur exhibit at the museum and then took them to the park and that's actually on my vlog channel if you want, really want to watch that. But anyways, uh, here in the reptile room, you will see there, besides my so dirty socks on the floor and the dog bone, Believe it or not, it was like spotless in here. And it's already a mess. You will see, bottom enclosure right here is empty. This top one actually has the sand bow in it. And then you still got Violet and you got Henry up there, which they need water, it looks like. Um, Popeye and Ruby actually got traded for a different snake. Uh, Popeye was my male uh, pied ball python, and Ruby was supposed to be my female albino. But I had them sexed, and uh, Popeye was indeed a male, and Ruby was actually a male also. So they were the two that I was going to breed, and since they were both boys, I figured I wanted to get out of the ball pythons. If you heard, heard me talking about it, I think in the last video, that I wanted to trade them for a uh, different snake. I did trade them for a different snake. And as you can see, here is the dip, here is the snake that I traded her for. She is a sun glow boa. I will try to get her out. I don't know. She's big and heavy, um, and I don't know if she'll cooperate and not. She is kind of a acts like she's a biter. Um, grab snake hook. The snake hook, believe it or not, is kind of little This snake right here, I don't know if you guys heard me talking about her in one of my older videos, but uh, I was telling you guys about the snake that came in that had a messed up mouth and was a sun glow boa. This is it right here, guys. This is her. <laughs> she is uh, same. was taking the same antibiotics that the hog island boa was taking. That's where I got the antibiotics from. Was there for this snake. Of course she wants to climb. She is fat, guys. She's big and fat. Uh, the antibiotics that she was taking are actually the antibiotics that I gave to the new Hog Island boa. Same antibiotics. And as her mouth was really bad. Robert, at the pet shop here. <laughs> Let me get her over my neck here. Let me show you her, her mouth. Uh, this is how well the antibiotics actually worked on her. You can see her mouth. You can't even tell that her mouth was messed up. It kind of has some scar tissue on it, but that's about it. Let me put her back. She's like really strong. Get in there. Get in there. And 
I told you guys I wanted to get into the bigger snakes. Well, I think she's kind of a little bit on the heavy side as for they were feeding her a lot of food. <laughs> uh, I'll let you guys get another look at her. There she is, guys. Uh, and I told you guys that this, this wasn't holding a lot uh, humidity very well. So I actually moved uh, the Hog Island boa in here and she's actually back there. And I actually had to soak her yesterday. But even this enclosure right here, I wetted this substrate guys. The substrate, it's kind of wet still. I'm probably gonna go to the Reptibark stuff. It seems to stay wet and hold humidity a lot better than that. Uh, and of course, Mr. Kaw is up here and his enclosure is not done yet. I mean, I haven't cleaned the glass on it or anything, uh, but there's Kaw. He loves getting put back. This was his old cage that Kermit was in. And Kermit, guys, actually, Kermit, I took and uh, we found a home for him and he actually uh, got given away. Actually took him to the pet store and he got shipped off to his new owner and I don't have a lot of time to spend with the lizard and lizards are a lot more especially if you want like an iguana that gets really really big it's a lot of uh, trouble plus they take up a lot of space I don't have a lot of space in here guys um, as you can see I haven't got a chance to clean Izzy's glass either but there's Izzy there's Izzy. There's my sweet Izzy. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? And I'm probably going to buy a second one of these guys. Let me show you guys what I got. The battery's probably going to die. I got a Reptorain automatic misting machine. This will do two enclosures, guys. And I'm actually going to make a video just on this. Me setting it up for, it's actually for the two boas. I'm actually going to set this on the hog eye and boas cage. So it's going to be hanging probably right here, guys. And it's actually going to be set up to mist this enclosure and this enclosure. And this enclosure is so big, guys. I had uh, two bulbs built into the screen. I'll show you guys. Hold on one second. Guys, don't be surprised if the battery dies and I have to change the battery, guys. I had this screen that I installed. I had cut holes out and installed this ceramic, these ceramic uh, light holders in here. And I had two, the same two bulbs that are in those domes up there in here in the cage whenever the hog island was in there well i didn't have any thing to cover the bulbs and she actually got burnt by the bulbs and luckily enough i was there but it, it charred her little the back of her so <laughs> i ended up redoing the whole room if you if you notice uh just just because it needed to be done guys so i ended up I did all this by myself. I ended up, um, if you watch my old, old, way back in the day videos, I had this enclosure on this stand with the stand that I built, that my dad helped me build. And uh, it was this enclosure right here. I mean, this stand right here that goes on top of the enclosure where they set almost flush. The top lights set almost flush. And the other, the other four foot enclosure goes on top. And then I have the lights up there. Um, actually bring that stand back inside I had it outside in another storage building and uh, I literally moved guys the dresser I pulled all the drawers out uh, moved it from over there in the corner as I was saying guys if this doesn't act funny before the battery died on here uh, I actually ended up uh, moving the dresser I had to pick it up over my head by myself over the bed bring it over here 
pretty much move everything. I had to push everything out of the room here to get all this stuff situated the way I wanted it. I actually took Roxy's, as you see, Roxy's is uh, her, her enclosure right here, which I need to clean, which I'm gonna do probably tomorrow. Uh, the stand that I was using for hers is a little uh, like end table dresser thing. The kids put stickers on. You see it's got My Little Pony stickers on it. I use that for stand for this to get this up in the air, specifically because the floor is cold in here. So to get, get it up in the air and I redid it and got these domes out and put the lights in there. And it's actually a, about 92 degrees in the hot spot right here. But that was the issue I was having with the other the other lamps in there. They actually burnt the snake on accident, which is my bad. You know, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so she got moved over there anyways, after, especially after getting burnt, I kind of moved her. Uh, I am back to, I have currently the Sun Glow Boa, the Hog Island Boa, uh, Violet, my Honduran Milk Snake, Henry, the uh, Pueblo Milk Snake, and then I have the Sand Boa in here. So I am actually have one empty enclosure down here, and uh, I'm probably not going to get any more animals at the moment. I told you guys I was working on figuring out to get the enclosures. If I end up getting the enclosures, I'm pretty sure I am going to. I've been saving up money uh, for a base and I, it looks like I might spend it. I don't really need another instrument. So I might actually spend it on the animals. I think it would be really good because it literally the, the enclosures would take up this area right here. So from here to here, six foot by six foot tall, all the enclosures would fit. So I'd be able to put four big snakes or two big snakes and the bearded dragon actually could go in one of the enclosures. It would probably be the two big snakes I currently have, Ka, maybe, because he likes, he likes being in the air. He likes big tall enclosures, so maybe. Uh, Izzy would get the enclosure that this, this big snake is would probably go on top to replace this so I could get a piece of glass cut for the enclosure that's messed up literally guys all of my animals would fit in this 6 by 6 area and Izzy would be able to go probably right here in the center of the room so her cage would probably be right here be right here and I would probably keep these enclosures out. Well, the ones that you see. I'll probably have this one. Uh, her Izzy's enclosure here. And probably the two over there. So even if I ended up doing that. I would have some empty enclosures. I'm thinking about six enclosures. So that, that leaves. Uh, I have three snakes in the enclosures over here. And one right there. So six of the small ones. It would give me three. Uh, three more empty uh, enclosures that's good guys because I'm I'm really thinking of these snakes like this guys um, like violet here I actually I'm actually thinking about getting more into some some king snakes or some corn snakes or something like that or the bigger snakes I really enjoy the bigger snakes I was thinking that the bigger snakes and especially the new one getting into bigger snakes or different kinds of snakes uh, or possibly some lizards um, like I said if I end up getting those enclosures I can probably I'll probably have uh, an enclosure over here empty for another lizard so maybe a Euromastix or something uh, the lizards guys this is pretty much my lizard here this is my baby. Izzy is my baby and is uh this is pretty much the only lizard I would probably care to own at the moment. Uh, Jack is a rescue and he is my wife's bearded dragon. I'm not too much into the bearded dragons. I'm not in lizards in general. I'm not a big fan of the lizards. I'm more a fan of the big snakes. Um, but Izzy is my sweet 
iguana, and I do take her out, and she does lay with me on the bed and stuff and watch TV, so. Um, she's not going anywhere anytime soon. It took me a lot to get her uh, as calm as she is now. She's pretty pretty calm. Um, as for the Reptorain, guys, I am going to make a... I said I'm going to make a separate video on the Reptorain and me setting it up for these two enclosures over here. I'm possibly, more likely, I'm buying another one of these for Izzy. At the moment, I actually enjoy spraying her with the, the sprayer, which is the sprayer that I got from Trey Beck. I actually enjoy spraying Izzy with this. Because um, not only do I spray her, I you know pet her and talk to her and stuff when I'm doing it. But the snakes, it would be nice for these guys to be able to have humidity without me having to worry about uh, misting them, spraying them. Uh, and caw, possibly. If I get another Reptorain, I will probably make make the setup where caw and it runs caw and Izzy's. So it would spray both of them. So that way he could have some humidity in there. Uh, and... I'll go I'll go over it more whenever I do the video for the Reptorain guys. I was just gonna give y'all an update. I know I talk talk a whole awful lot. It's been a while since I've done a video, guys. Um I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you guys have an idea for a name for the Sun Glow and the Hog Island Boa, leave a comment down below what, what you think I should name them, guys. Uh my youngest daughter wanted to name the new snake Ruby because she's you know, she replaced Ruby, but she's real pretty. I mean, that's a pretty snake. Uh, if you have an idea for any names, guys, for the Hog Island Boa or the Sun Glow Boa, let me know. There is a possibility that I might be getting an albino boa, a real pretty one. We will see, though. It is currently uh, being cared for. It has issues, too. I believe it has an R.I., respiratory infection and my buddy Robert is taking care of that he actually bring this boa from she's pretty much missing the bottom part of her jaw to if you seen you can hardly tell that she had a mouth problem she's got scars down there but her mouth is okay the hog iron boa she her top half of her mouth is all cleared up guys so uh, she just shed she went to shed and she was having a really crappy shed so I actually that was pretty humid in there, but I actually soaked her last night, and she shed, and that's what the, the shed that's on the floor here. That's from her, guys, from last night. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Y'all know the gist, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you have an idea for a name for those guys. Uh, leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, much love. I'll see you guys in my next video.